we are going to be making top down movements in Scratch. So I've got uh, my Scratch Cat, which is my player, and then uh, my walls, which is just a whole bunch of boxes around me. So, um, so first, we're going to put go into the events and put down a one fly click forever. If the and then we're going to go into sensing, get the key, space pressed, and then we're going to put set it to the left. So if key left arrow pressed, then blah. Now we're going to do the duplicate it and put the next one to right. Then we're just going to keep doing that until we've got all of the error keys. So now I'm doing up and down. There we go. Okay. And for our movements, we are not going to be using the change x by 10 or change y by 10. We, but in fact, we are going to make our own block. So we're going to name this collision. No, detect. We're going to name this detect collision. collision now we're going to put an add input x and add another input y now we are going to make the block so first we are going to put the detect collision and we are going into in for the left arrow first we're going to put negative five in the next box we're going to put zero because we are not uh, moving at all in the y section when we're pressing uh the left arrow now on the right arrow we're gonna make the five positive and now we're gonna duplicate it again for, and then for the up arrow and the down arrow we're gonna use the the second box and we're gonna set the first box to zero in the first box we're going to use the uh um x in the second box because it is the y so bam and then negative five for down arrow so for this for this movement to work you we got to make it to where it'll actually move so how you're going to do that is we're going to change x by and change y by we're going to put this under the block and then we're going to use the two inputs to put the x and under the change x by and then put the y in the change y by then we are going to put in the in the um one if i clicked an if so this will see if we're touching if we're not touching the walls and then in the block we're going to put if it is touching the walls so we're going to put if not touching our walls then we're going to make two variables previous x for all sprites and previous y for all sprites i'm going to put set previous x and previous y to the x position provided for us so we'll put the x position in the x, previous, and then put the y, y position in the previous y. So if we're not ticking the walls, then now we have our movements and the previous y and the previous x depending on our movement or where we are on the screen. So for now we're going to add just one block one fly clicked and go to zero zero so we so when we do click the green flag we are in the middle of the screen and not off to the side or something like over here but now this our collision is not working because we still haven't finished it so now 
we are going to go over to our block section and put an if statement and then put if touching the walls then we are going to set our x of our player and set our y of our player to previous x and previous y so now if you click the hit the green flag and you try to run into a wall now you can't that's how you make top down movement and collision i hope you guys liked this video if you did hit the like button and maybe even subscribe